you know, everyone in complex science, and I do, immunology is very complex science, everyone gets things a bit wrong sometimes. You can get it wrong or you can get it half right. And then new technology comes along or a new discovery and you realise that though your data was fine, the way you interpret it wasn't correct. And so, you know, you really should, I think scientists really should, when that happens, they should write something short. There should be a, a, a journal called Getting It Wrong in Immunology uh, or Getting It Wrong in Biology uh, uh, or Wrong Biology. Um, and uh, and you sh everyone should write these stories and say, this is why I got it wrong, how, this is how I got it wrong, because it, it's useful to know that. It's useful for the history of science, it's useful for young people to know that. It's useful for young people to know that if you do science and you do complex science, you're going to get it wrong some of the time. And if you're not getting it wrong, you're just doing boring experiments, basically. So I always, if I have graduate students and all their experiments are working, we kind of threaten them. We're going to come in and contaminate your cultures at night when you're not here. We never do it, but you know, just, just so they get the experience because you know, at every time in someone's scientific career, things look great and then they suddenly are terrible and you've got to be able to deal with that. So if you're going to be a scientist, you have to be emotionally robust. <laughs>